hello everyone welcome to the fourth experiment on digital communication lab okay so basically in this exper laboratory experiment we'll simulate the behavior of delta modulation using matlab okay so the experiment name is simulation of delta modulation using matlab okay as you already know that the delta modulation is a special kind of source encoding technique through which we can convert a analog continuous signal into digital signal in term of one or zero but here the sampling rate has been set so high such that the difference between two successive instances of sample can be expressed in term of plus minus delta v voltage okay so if the current sample value greater than the previous value or the output of the integrator the corresponding output will be considered as delta v or one whereas if the current sample value is less than the previous one or the output of the integrator then the output will be expressed in term of minus delta v or zero okay so this is the uh, basic working principle for delta modulation which uh, already discussed in the classes corresponding to the delta modulation now let's see how delta modulation can be implemented using MATLAB okay so here it is the uh, corresponding program code you can see that this is the CLC or clear screen first of all you set the time duration or time span uh, so we uh, uh, set the time span from 0 to 2 pi and the corresponding uh, time interval is 2 pi divided by 100 okay so obviously total time instances or sample value is 100 here now we define or we consider a message signal or baseband signal or uh, analog signal using this equation x equal to 5 sine 2 pi t by 5 where 5 is the 5 is the this one is the corresponding amplitude 5 volt and frequency of this signal obviously is is 5 hertz okay now we can call, uh, plot x with respect to t and we can uh, if we plot we can get easily sinusoidal signal okay now we use the uh, we use the command hold on to plot another signal for the delta modulation or the we want to plot the output of the integrator into the same graph so that's why we use this command hold on okay now we define another two variable first of all is the y and another is the xr y is the output of the delta signal dm signal okay. so this variable is uh, used to store the output of the delta modulated signal that means in term of 1010 or stream of 10 okay and xr xr is uh, uh, <coughs> xr is uh, uh, a variable that used to store the output of the integrator okay as you already know in case of uh, integrator sorry in case of delta modulation uh, integrator can be used and in case of integrator staircase approximated signal can be used and whose initial value for the staircase approximated signal is zero okay next one is that uh, define we another um, parameter that is the very crucial which is the step size okay so depending on the step size uh, defined noise can be incorporated in the delta modulated output we know that in case of delta modulation there are two type of noise can be occurred one is slope overloading another is granular noise okay so when the um, when the step size is very small so that it cannot follow the slope of the signal then the slope overloading has been observed and when the and when the 
uh, step size is too large okay so in that scenario uh, we can get output as an oscillating signal so that is the granular noise so the optimum value of delta or step size is very crucial for us so in between my high value and the low value we need to select a precise value of step size so that we can get the optimum output okay here uh, initially the value of delta has been set to 0 0.4 okay now, le now let's see what will happen now next uh, we define uh, we continue uh, a loop where uh, the concept of the delta modulation has been implemented here uh, we continue uh, uh, we define a for loop from i to one length x minus one that means from uh, x to m this minus one one to length x minus one and if xri less than equal to xi that means if current sample value greater than the previous value or output of the integrator output will be output of dm will be one so we define d equal to one that means so if this condition satisfied that means if the current value greater than the previous one so obviously it will define by the one and output of the corresponding staircase approximated signal or output of the integrated will be xr i plus one equal to xr i plus delta that means the next value of the integrator will be previous value of the integrator plus delta okay else if this condition does not satisfy that means if current sample value less than the previous one then obviously delta more output of the delta module would be zero so in the, that in the next case uh, so del d equal to zero okay so in that case value of xr xr i plus one will be xr i minus delta that means staircase approximated signal will be decreased so here the staircase approximation value will be increased so in in the second case the staircase approximation value will be decreases by amount of minus delta so obviously you can see that staircase approximate value can be increased or decreased by plus minus delta okay or plus minus del here so obviously this is the simple logic for the delta modulation okay uh, so here, uh, here we uh, end the if if condition now we store the corresponding value of delta uh, sorry d into the y okay so y has been basically this one is the basically a matrix where uh, corresponding d value has been incorporated one by one okay next uh, stairs uh, to show the output of the integrator we use this command stairs so stairs so it is it, it is used to show the staircase approximated signal so uh, by using this command stair xr xr we can uh, show the corresponding staircase approximated value next hold up that means the plot has been up and uh, next we define another parameter that is um, mec uh, which is nothing but the difference between uh, original value original signal and the staircase approximate approximated signal so that is defined by uh, root over x minus x square divided by length of the x okay and to do observe the corresponding output or delta modulated signal you use this y okay so now let's see for particular this type of setting that means for a 5 volt uh signal with 5 hertz frequency and uh, step size of 0.4 and with the uh, sample uh, sampling frequency 100 what will be corresponding delta modulated output so let's see run okay now if you use so you can see that yeah <coughs> sorry so here you can see that this one is the original signal and this one is the output of the integrator so you can uh, we already know the output of the integrator that means here initial value of xr is zero so you can see that the uh, out integrator uh, output of the integrator has been started from the zero okay next case uh, you can see that at this point at this point the present value is the greater than the previous one that means zero that means obviously the corresponding output will be zero one so here next value will be one now here in, you can see that okay 
so like this way it will be continued so this one is the staircase approx approximated signal of the integrator you can see that and you can see that uh, output uh, uh, output of the integrator almost follow the baseband or message signal okay and uh, you can see that this one is the actually output this one is the actually the like 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 so this one is the corresponding the output of the delta modulated signal okay zero so this uh, this signal this analog signal it has been converted into in term of 1 0 1 0 like this this one is the actually output 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 you can see that a long sequence of 1 1 here after 0 so you can see that one means 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 like this okay so this one is the normal case and we can see that uh, output of the integrator or staircase approximated signal almost follow the slope of the signal properly now let's see what will happen if we change the delta module del step size very small so we can see you can change the value of delta to 0 0.1 now let's see what will happen so what we uh, change uh, we even constant the amplitude and the frequency of the message signal by we change the step size okay so here yeah, you can see that so as we make the step size very small that's why the output of the integrator cannot follow the slope okay so ultimately this one is nothing but the slope overloading okay so the uh, slope of the message signal is very high compared to the slope of the staircase approximated signal maximum value maximum slope okay so th this has been uh, example for the staircase approximation okay now let's see what will happen if uh, step size become too large suppose we define delta as 2 okay now again run execute it yeah you can see that so 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so I'll, you can see that corresponding output is like this 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 or 1 0 1 0 1 0 like this okay so ultimately uh, it will be it will look like a oscillating or clock signal okay so this one is nothing but the granular noise so in the here it is nothing but the uh, granular noise that means for particular in this area granular granular noise has been observed where the output is oscillating okay so to overcome this two setting we need to uh, choose the step size with very carefully so if we choose 0 0.4 so particular for, uh, for this case uh, we can get almost similar type of uh, staircase approximated C okay now to overcome this we can use ADM obviously however uh, I hope we can understand the working principle of delta modulation using this simulation okay so if you have any query please post them and please try to simulate this code in your own laptop or desktop and if you any problem arise so you can please contact me thank you